Wow. Wow. There we go. Alright, so what I was talking about earlier, um <clears throat> when I was talking about looking up researching like what we would what we would have to uh do for like rankings and stuff for like a ranking whatever um come on come on come on come on we when i when i was looking it up sorry uh in remake it asks you don't don't push this back in the corner ever because then you'll have to enter the or exit the room and re-enter uh when it asks you what kind of like what kind of person are you kind of thing and it's got the I like to hike on mountains or I like to go jogging or you know like jog or I like to just have a good walk um yeah I'm gonna take that uh that's actually like a save file difficulty like you have to completely restart the game kind of thing to change that that sticks on whatever whatever your whatever save, uh, save file you're playing if you start a new game you can i think change it i'm i don't know if you because that i'll have to check when i play it again it's been a bit um also my currently i'm running the pc one so i don't know if that works differently um, sorry, I get tied up, uh, multiple thought processes. Um, again, I'll have to check when I play it, because I, I know I'm going to play a remake on, on the channel. Uh, actually one of my favorite games of all time. It's, I won't say it's the best game or nothing like that, like, some people will say that, but, um, what am I doing? I'm sorry. I saw this and I was like, I don't like the... Um, Uh, yeah, I'm about to go there anyway, so I'll actually, uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, no, if, uh, I don't remember if it mattered for a trophy or not, uh, but I would run the mountain difficulty and those guys were pretty resilient, especially on survival mode. And don't even get me started on visible survival. Invisible survival, uh, no save, is the run that I did for a remake. Because I did two different runs for like all the trophies and stuff. Uh, I did the invisible survival, no save. Because I was like, nah, screw doing this. <laughs> and then I did knife only. Um, no, that's too far off. I might be reversing it. Uh, I might.
might have done. I hope not. I hope not. Um, Incas for squids might have been what I did in Visible Survival um, or CQC, which would be knife only. Um, And then there was one other that I had to do. I forget what it was. Because I did knife only with one other thing. And then I did invisible survival. Oh, one dangerous zombie. Uh, I did invisible survival, one dangerous zombie. Uh, and then I did knife. And then no stick, I believe. There's our sun crest. Uh, be careful because if you push this off, the smoke will start to come into the room and you have to run out because it will hurt you if you stay in too long. Like she'll, she'll make an audible, you know, noise and she'll keel over for a second and it, you'll take a little bit of damage so it won't kill you, but yeah. Um. Richard would normally come up right here in Remake, but you have to go forward for that. Richard, what happened? Oh, Jill, this house is dangerous. There are terrible demons. Ouch! You're wounded. What kind of demon attacked you? It was a huge snake and also poisonous. Poisonous? Oh, no. Richard, hold on. There is serum. Oh, no. I should have brought some with me. No problem. I'll go and get it. Thanks. I already know where I gotta go. Alright. Wait. Yes, okay. So... Uh, this... I don't remember what the stipulation is based on in 96. Uh, it's probably still time. Uh, you have, like... A minute and a half? Maybe? I don't remember, man. It's been years. It's been years and years. Uh, and there's a lot of differences between these two games. Like, a lot of people thought... Because I was talking about arguments and stuff. A lot of people think that... Remake... Shouldn't be called a remake when it 100% it, it should. Like... If you know what you're doing... Within the first 10 minutes of starting the game, like literally from the sec, from 10 minutes of pressing go, you've already seen like three new areas. You know what I mean? Like, and that just keeps going for the rest of the game. So, I don't know. I don't know. And say yeah, those those zombies don't even worry about if you you just have to dodge them pretty much twice. I'm waiting for the shotgun right now before I go into yawn, and I'm not speed running, so I don't mind having to run it all at once, or I don't mind not having to run it all at once, basically, because if I was speed running 100%, I would have to have already grabbed the shotgun already been going to yawn you know like no no i should have already been past yawn to be honest i have wasted a lot of time but that's neither here nor there uh in remake it's almost a straight shot you just kind of circle around 
Oh, what am I doing? I just fucking... <laughs> Sorry, Richard. If you're dead, my bad. Here's the serum. Richard, hold on. I'll give you a shot now. Jill, here's my radio. You should keep it. I'm... No! Richard! Jill, be careful. Uh, uh. Richard is dead. So why did we have to go get the serum? Sorry, man, I want them explosive rounds. I'll burn off a couple of pistol rounds for explosives. Bam, 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 bang. Alright. I don't remember if there's one in here in this one. Because, like, it's, it's so hard with Resident Evil sometimes. Uh, especially having been played it, playing it over the years, or been having played it over the years, um, for every localization or port, rather, uh, not quite localization, I don't think, but for every port, like, and I'm talking from the PS1 to the Dreamcast, or not the Dreamcast, uh, from the PS1 to the GameCube, oh, those are acid rounds, even better, uh, to the GameCube, I should have just burned off the shield key, uh, turn the mic around, um, and then to, what is it, there was another one, like, there's a whole bunch of ports. But what I'm trying to say is, like, for every different port, um, enemy, not only placements, but, like, numbers can be different. Um, like, uh, and their hard and normal modes are different. It's really... Because, like, Resident Evil 3's got... It's got a couple of ports. Resident Evil 2's got a bunch of ports. And Resident Evil 1's got a couple of ports. And I mean a couple of ports. There's also a couple of remakes in their own rights. Uh, okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go put some stuff away. And then we'll go get the shotgun. The not berry way. As much as I wanna hear Jill Sandwich, I'm kinda wanting to act use the mansion for what it's supposed to be used for. I I don't know. I don't know if they did something for the ultimate mod or not. If you did it this way. Cause like that was the majesty of games back in the day, I guess, that isn't quite captured now. Um, you had no, um, there was no indication that um, doing something was not uh, a guarantee. Like, so to speak, uh, 
rival schools. I was playing it on stream, like, I don't know, seven, eight months ago, nine months ago, somewhere in there. Uh, and the third battle. Uh, I don't, I remember especially with Batsu, the main character, when he fights his dad, Raizo. Yeah, I bet. Uh, it's basically like a... You cannot win this battle. Uh, their health, or Raizo's health, Raizo and Hideo, uh, were hiding. Uh, uh, I don't know. They had like triple health compared to you. And uh, they were pumped up to like higher difficulty than what you were. Uh, if you were on highest difficulty, they were acting as the boss of the whole run kind of thing. Uh, but me, I don't know how I did it when I was younger. I only did it once. I remember only doing it once, and especially it was as Batsu. Uh, that's how I know is that you can do it as Batsu. You can beat him. You can actually somehow, against all odds, best Ryzo. And I mean, I was flying. I must have been, because like, I can still kind of remember a pain in my thumb. <laughs> music though. I hope this blood isn't from my teammates. It is. It's from Forest. Forest Spare. Resident Sniper. Marksman. Got it. It's Forest. He's been pecked to death by crows. Yep. Grab grenade launcher and a bolt. Will you take the bazooka? Yes. Go, 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 go. Okay. If you stay there, you can get stun locked pretty bad. And they don't do a whole bunch of damage with each peck until it starts to add. And then you're starting to hurt. And then you're starting to freak out and try. And some people, like, as I did it when I was younger, you start to get real mad and start shooting at them to just clear them, clear them out and be, be done with them. Nope, don't do that. Don't. What was... Yeah, there wasn't anything here. Like, in Remake, there's a whole... Other... This is where the outdoor balcony is, and it goes around. And this, it's just this. Which, I mean, nothing against it. Oh, that's right. Let's... Let's just go the easy way. Because the other way, I gotta go through two. This way, I only gotta go through one. I don't know. Resident Evil and Silent Hill. Less Silent Hill because, like, I didn't own that one. My dad didn't. We rented it. That's how I know about Silent Hill from when I was a kid. What am I doing? Uh, they're definitely, like, memories. Like, I remember at my cousin's house. My dad, my uncle, and my two cousins and me. Uh... We were all gathered around on the couch stuff, or the two couches and the chair. And, uh, this is where I wanted to go. Uh, we were playing Resident Evil 2 for the first time. Like, this is the first we, any of us had ever seen. And they handed it, handed it to us, and we're like, go ahead and try it out. And they wanted to see what it was like. They didn't want to be, like, the first ones to play it, but they wanted to see what it was like. 
Uh, this is how we get the shotgun. So we we played, and uh, I remember to this day we were going through, and we got to like my cousins and I got to. We got to Marvin, and we he was like, just go. And we're like, dude, I don't know about this. <laughs> we were kind of freaked because, like, we were kids. And uh, so our dads were like, you know what? No, give us the control. And then they got to the liquor, and then they looked at each other, and then we're like, hey, kids, let's go get some food. And they stopped playing for a couple of minutes, and uh, they came back, and they kept playing. They, to their credit, they did play it for a bit, but then they stopped. Like, my dad loved it, though. Uh, he played Code Veronica, and I watched him play it a lot. Uh, he used to, like, wait for a time that... Like in Resident Evil 2 specifically, uh, when Mr. X launches through on side B. Oh. Uh, on side B through the wall after you get the. Uh, the gear. The clockwork gear. Um, and I'm not talking remake, I'm talking original. Uh, I have remake as well. Uh, RE2 remake. I have. Remake, RE2 Remake, and RE3 Remake. I don't have RE4 Remake. I already said that on a previous stream. But depending on which video you're watching, I don't know if you've heard that. Uh, where am I going? Shotgun. Here, give me a second. I, I'm going to be right back. Uh... All right. Yeah, okay, man. Sorry, I'm listening to uh, people. But yeah, no, uh, Resident Evil is a huge, huge part of my life. Like, not so much so that it, it matters, but in ways it kind of does, I guess, like in entertainment, you know, like it, it shapes what, like, I find cool, I guess. I don't know, man. I don't know. I like it. Sometimes. Sometimes. Like... Resident Evil 4, not a huge fan. Resident Evil 5, was alright. Resident Evil 6, was fun. Terrible Resident Evil story. Terrible Resident Evil story. Hated the Resident Evil story. Hello. Ow! Go away! No, 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 no! Woo, woo. Yeah! Bob and Weave. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, so, I can go outside now, but really, the only thing I would do that for is for health, because there's only really health out here, and when I go out here, and I go past a certain point, those dogs jump over the fence. And it's before you even reach the herbs, so, like, there's almost no point. It's kind of a fool's errand. You can grab all of them and not get hit. Will it happen? Probably not. Can I do it? Probably not. Or, I, can I do it? Yes. Will I do it? Probably not. Is it possible? Yeah. 
I'm gonna take that and then put that. What do you mean I can't use it here? Hmm. No. There. Now, this thing won't cave in on me. That's how you have to do it as Chris. Otherwise, you will certainly die. Like, because... I don't know. Never mind. Got my shotgun. Yeah, I'm not messing with you. I don't remember which direction to run. Oh. I should have put one of them weapons back. Oh well. We'll deal with it. Is Richard still dead? Richard from Bravo Team. Oh, hey, Richard's got ammo, too. I never actually, like, tried to click on him just this much, you know? What is it, Abba? Alright. Now. Hopefully, I don't get caught up in the death spiral. He's gonna... Hello, Yon. Hello, Yon. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay, go. Uh-huh. Go, 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 go. Pick this up. Yep. And then get out. Because ah, oh, I'm poisoned. Now I'm gonna wake up. Ah, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Let me out, Yon. Ah, no. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Um. Uh, oh, okay, okay, go, 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 go. Oh man, that was close. That's why I don't like to fight Yawn. That's why I don't like to fight Yawn. Because he traps you. And I'm dead. No, I'm not really. Barry saves us here, I'm pretty sure. Am I poisoned? Give me the serum. Because, I mean, at this point. It starts to black out before you can really see the color, too. Uh, at this point, if Wesker found her, he'd probably just laugh to himself. To be honest. And Chris is locked up right now. By the time she wakes up 100%, he's locked up. Also, I was like, uh, vitamin C.
happens in serums. Oh no, it doesn't. Okay. It does have... So... I just need the crow hallway now. Let's go ahead and put the greater bazooka away. What did we... Oh, duh. Derp. The ga- uh, the- mm, The dressing room. Ah! Because down there is the helmet and then code door, which I won't be able to get either of those until after the guardhouse when I have the helmet key. So I'm pretty sure, again, it's been a while since I've actually beat this game. It's been a while. Uh, and I have not beat this mod, so that may be different down the road. Don't know. Uh, we'll find out. See, like, I uh, get myself all caught up now. Uh, but yeah, um, I think the code is down by the kitchen. Yes. Yeah, that was what I was missing. Okay. Mm, sure, I might as well. Because there's shotgun shells here and an herb. Hi. Oh yeah? I was gonna say, you gotta wait for that blood, man. It's locked. Will you use a lockpick? Yeah. Give me them shells. Yeah. Six is seven is I was gonna say six is its max, what? I don't remember that being six. These are what I'm really worried about. That's the, uh, when you get the dressing room key, it's right here. That's, that's, you need the dressing room key for this. You don't have the key for this room. It's for your outfits. Because, yes, even the first game had alternate outfits and stuff. I don't know if it's the, the original very, very, very first one had original. I'm pretty sure it did. I don't remember exactly. But I do know that later ports did. For sure. Like Chris without the vest and uh, Jill with... Oh, 
white shirt instead of blue and stuff. And she's got like the cross harness and stuff too. Um, I think. Anyway. Crow hallway is this way. Technically I could go up and around. I don't know why I didn't do that. That's technically quicker, I think. But I'm already going this way, so we're going this way. I need to take down that Zombo anyway. Me and him got beef. I forgot about these guys. How could I? How could you guys are so cute? Look at you, all torn to bits. Missing flesh. Muscles peeking through. <laughs> One of y'all's eyeballs is hanging off, I know it. <laughs> All right, you, me, let's let's do this, buddy. I need to save shotgun hunters. Zombies get the pistol treatment. Oh, really? What? Why'd you auto aim on him? Bad Joe. Yeah, that looks like it's red. Thank God for auto aim. Alright. Pro room. This is just old the uh, or young to old pictures. So newborn. Yes. Hello guys. I missed you too. Newborn. Which I think is this one. Picture of an infant. No. That's the other one. Newborn is this one. Right here. Picture of a newborn baby. Switch below, you push it. Yes. Infant. Yes. And I think this is the one right here. Picture of a tired middle aged man? No. No. Then the boy, I, I remember, he's further down here. He's right here. Picture of a lively boy. Switch below, will you push it? Yes. Then this white one right here is of a young man. Middle aged. And old, old looking man is here. Sorry. Uh, Remake has just as many. Uh, to do stuff with as this side as they're on on that side. Give me the piece of death and I'll give you the joy of life. There's a switch below. Will you push it? Yes. That music, man. And if I had messed up on that puzzle, all of these crows would be coming at me right now. And I mean, that's not a good time at all. This this is the worst part for the crows, man. Like Resident Evil 2's got that one hallway, but this one, oof. oof. All right, so we go here, grab our stuff, mix our herbs, and then we're going inside. putting you away then.
All right. Should be a puppy outside. of new life will open. Alright. Because I know you don't have to remember the order. It will do it automatically in the right position. Thankfully for that. And unlocked. Don't have to worry about those four slots anymore. That's essentially the death mask puzzle. This right here... This puzzle, where you can almost, almost see it right there. Oh, no, that might have been too far. That might have been too far. Right there. What was that? That was the crank. You need the crank. Yeah, well, this right here. Say goodbye to Lisa. That was the whole Lisa section right there. That's what they took and made Lisa out of. This. This right here. That's what they turned into Lisa. Is that not friggin' awesome? That's the mind of the creators of Remake. So when, so when people say it's not a remake it's a remaster they're wrong they're just they're wrong i'm sorry i don't i'm not trying to be mean I'm not trying to say oh you're whatever nope you're, you're just not correct and that's okay i'm not mad at you for it i'm not saying you're dumb i make mistakes dude i'm i'm wrong about stuff hell sometimes i know i'm wrong about stuff and i still say it <laughs> i'm kind of like that but like no this Remake is definitely a remake. It's 100% a remake. That was pretty back in the day. The water is running down the opposite side. I, You know what? Thinking about it, I haven't read any notes. Um, pretty sure the snakes drop there later on. Nope, they're right here. Okay, that's, that's right. That's right. Don't let any of them suckers bite you. Because that's instant poisoning. I'm pretty sure. If it's not in this one, it is a remake. So, like, watch your back. Dog down here. This statue and put it over the hole in the hallway unless you want plant 42 it's not far enough unless you want plant 42 to snatch your neck every single time you pass through it doesn't do a whole design damage at all like if you're at 100% it won't even take you out of mind I don't think at all but 
that uh, you're going to be passing this hallway a couple of times. So it's really just, just do it. You're much better off. See? You're good. Just over the hole. You're good. All right. So if I'm correct, I'm not able to go in level one at all because I need the key for that. This is the safe room. Oh, such a beautiful song. I love it. Explosive room. back and grab you. Yeah, I see that first aid spray. I just don't ever want to use one. Um, let's let's grab the key first. I I don't want to deal with spiders up there. Like. Yeah, that's plant 42, I'm pretty sure. All this gray stuff up here. It's not it's not spider webs. This is all like roots. Probably gonna need those. Give me one of them at least. We'll save the others. Because we're not fighting plant, for plant 42 yet. Night. It's locked. This is where Barry is talking to Wesker. It also should be where we go into the lab. This is the V-Jolt mixing room. That's the key. I hate that sound. <laughs> Alright. Um, that's the wrong way. This is... Nope, check. What does it say on it? Oh, oh, two. That's this way. So I was going the right way. here first. I think there's a zombie in here. Yep. Oh, I thought there was... See, this is where Remake kind of mixes me up, because I think this is where you get the control room key. Oh, there's ammo. Good. 
At least there's some reason to go in here, huh? I forgot about it because... No, like I said, it's been a while since I've played all the way through the game 100% or anything. So, like, I'm just running where I run it once I find... Oh, hey. Plant 42 report. Four days have passed since the accident, and the plant at point 42 is growing amazingly fast. Point 42. That's why it's called Plant 42, I get it. Guess. Uh, it has been affected by the T virus differently than other plants have been and shows unique shape in addition to its size. Looking at the way it behaves, it is now difficult to determine what kind of plant it was originally. There are two ways in which Plant 42 gathers nutrition. The first one is through its root that reaches into the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and broke the water tank in the basement. Now the basement is filled with water. It is easily imaginable that some chemical elements were blended in the water and promotes the incredibly fast growth of Plant 42. Another part of Plant 42 from the basement grows through the duct and hangs down like so many bulbs from the ceiling of the first floor. Many vines come out of those bulbs and they are the second resource for its nutrition. Once sensing movement, Plant 42 shoots its vines around the prey and holds it. Then it starts sucking up blood, using the suckers located at the back of its vine. It also has some intelligence. It blocks the door by twining, twining, twining its vines around, especially when it captures its prey or is sleeping. Uh, twining its veins around it, especially when it captures its prey or is sleeping. Several staff members have already fallen victim to this. May 21st, 1998, Henry Sart Sarton. Plant 42 report has been filed. Desk is locked. Will you use lockpick? Yes. Use lockpick. Shotgun shells. Take that. There's a ladder. Will you descend it? Oh, wait. Did I even go in the bathroom of this room? Yes, I did. Because 001 key is in the basement here. Do not push it all the way down. So I don't want to climb. Oh, oh wait. Oh no. I did wrong. I did wrong. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We'll just exit the room. There's a ladder. Will you climb it? Yes. Do you descend it? Yes. I should just... So... It so far away from pushing it back. There.
kind of miraculous how they all fall in a row. Hold up. Um, okay. Uh huh. So I was wrong the first way. That's okay. What is this, this event? You see that? It's like a... Yeah, it's gotta be an event. I see one right there. Alright. Yeah, like... Just in a straight row, huh? And this is where it gets a little bit... Iffy. 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 Because you slow down in the water. And Plant 42's bulb is down here. And also sharks. Neptune. Which is a much bigger... Uh, bigger shark, technically, in the remake. This is Plant 42's uh, roots. And you have to take the V-jolt here and then put it there. Okay, there's Neptune. It's locked. Control room. I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, danger. Danger this. What's up? Yeah? Sorry, I've never actually killed these things. I don't even know if I can kill these things. Yeah, I don't know if I can, man. I got more shotgun shells, but I need to lay off that. Uh, run, 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 run. So wait, where's the control room key? fine for now like doesn't this music sound so nice sometimes like, director's cut kind of where key. Where key. Neat 
nicely packed away, huh? Good job, guys. I like that. It's cute. Alright. So... Hmm. I need to find... Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm stupid. I have yet to check the bar. Just right here. And there's a reason for that. There is a reason for that. We're going to take care of that reason. Hello, biggin. Good at me, you fucker. Oh, oh, little ones too, huh? Last shell. Nope, last shell was a waste. That's okay. We'll take care of this. Ow! I might be poisoned. I'm definitely poisoned. Oh, you're so fast. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I need to... I need to go. I need to go. <laughs> this is... This is why I did not want to go in there. <laughs> so terrible. <laughs> Let's go ahead and grab a red herb too, just in case. Uh, uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and see what uh, we can do. I don't. I hope I don't have to go out with the dogs to. Okay. Yes, I would love to take the blue herb, but I do not see. Have any red herbs or green herbs? There is a solution for that. I just might die on the way. Hang on, Jill. Ugh. Gotcha. Uh, you know, actually, wasn't there a specific order for this one? Uh, uh, Um, red, blue. Okay. So it's it's gotta be. There. I do not know if that gave me any benefit. If one of them, it definitely does. I don't know which. I don't know what the order is. Okay, now, back to the bar, because if I'm correct, that should be all of them. If not, there is one more, and I don't think there is. We'll find out. We'll find out. We're on our way. Clear? Clear. Yep. All right. It's a broken. All right. A three ball. A nine ball. A 
it looks like a clock dial. Three, four, five. Some kind of code. Wait. Three, four, five. Why is this a nine ball? Three, four, five, nine? Nine ball. How am I supposed to be looking at this? A six ball. Okay, oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, so. Wait. What side is the pointer? Is, is it this, is it, so are we talking like three or nine? And which one's the hour hand? Guys. <laughs> this is why I guessed on this. Looks like a clock tile. Three, four, five. Three, forty-five. Is that what it's trying to say? That doesn't look like forty-five. Oh, wait. It would, uh, okay. Because I'm standing at the 12 spot, so I'm supposed to be seeing it as a clock right now. I'm supposed to be seeing the clock as it is right now with it pointing where the billiard cues are pointing. So yes, 345. With the one straight across being the minute hand and the one not straight across being the hour hand. Some kind of a code. 345. 345. Yes, I'll take this. This is why it pays to look around. Because, like, I don't remember all this stuff. Stop. I mean... I only plan on ever using two, ever, in a run. Like, extenuating circumstances aside, like, if I have to go do something and I'm like, ah, oh, this is a really good run, I don't want to give this one up, uh, <sighs> excuse me, then yeah, 345. But yo, there wasn't any, uh, wasn't any keys in there. No keys. Right. 
need to start grabbing herbs again. No, I don't want the first aid. Just checking to see if there's anything else. Because there isn't there. Alright. I totally forget. I totally forget. 345. Forget where that other key is. And then bees are gonna mess me up. Yeah. Sorry, remake keeps messing me up with this. Like between the two. 345, 345. No more keys. Will you push the keys? Yes. 345. Ta da! Alright. Now. We have to read these things on the wall. Something is written on the wall. 1 plus 2 equals 3. 3 plus 4 equals 7. 2 plus 4 equals 6. 6 plus 7 equals 13. 13 plus 3 equals 16. So, we're going to... Because 4 is... Purple, I believe. We're, we're supposed to make three, and then we already have four. We're supposed to mix three and four, and then we're supposed to mix two and four, and then we mix those two together, and then we mix the last thing and the first mixture together. We make three again, and then took the 13 and added three. So that's just what we have to translate to from this. Something is written on the wall. Water equals one. Red equals two, purple equals three, green equals four. Okay. Oh, wait, that's right. Did I pick up the vigil um, instructions? Will you take the empty bottle? Yes. Will you take the empty bottle? Yes. Will you take the empty bottle, please? Will you take the empty bottle? Yes. Will you put water in the empty bottle? Yes. You got water, aka one. Will you put water in the empty bottle? No. Where are the other ones though? Because they're supposed to be on the walls here. But I'm not triggering anything. Well what what's what's going on, guys? Um Can't use it here. Check. No glass bottle to put chemicals in. There's water in the bottle. So, where's red? Because I need to make. Ok, 
okay, but I can't. Okay, so that's not working. I guess I got a fight plan 42. It's locked. It says 003. It won't move at all. It seems to be obstructed from the opposite side. It means it's sleeping. Is there anything else? That's a bummer, man. I love doing the UMB puzzle. Bummer. Oh well. We'll have to fight Plant 42. And find this fucking 003 key or the control room key. I forget where they would be. Cause like control room keys in the bathtub of one of the rooms. And like there's no more water left is what I'm left with with here. You know, like so like did did the guys take it out? I might be soft locked. I hope not. Because I haven't played this far on this mod yet. I just tested it out to see if it was working. And I thought it was doing really well. Or I'm just stupid. I think I'm just stupid. Because I've heard good things about this. So. It's got to be me. Like there, that was me just, I don't even know, I was just like, therapy clicking, I guess. Like, oh, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? Um, cause, oh, oh, one still long. Right? There was no key in the bunker. Whoa! What? Did I unlock it by accident one time? Oh, Zombo. Oh, you're too close. You're too close. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. To Zombo. Round two, start. Perfect. Is there another Zombo in here? I should have reloaded. Clear. Bathtub is filled with muddy water. Will you unplug it? Yes. Not nearly as bad as silence. Man, it's a good thing that key didn't go down the drain. You can't carry any more items. That's right. I'm so dumb. To the item box. Because we can't use these items, I guess. At least not yet. It won't let me yet. Because I thought we got notes on V-Jolt. And like, what it did. And that's when we should be able to do it. So let's put these away for now. Okay. 
now we'll go back to 001, grab that key, search the rest of the room. Yeah, like, I don't know. I like this music. Oh, yeah, this book. I need this. Will you take the red book? Yes, I will. Nothing unusual. So wait, what's the difference between the bookcases in the other room, in 002, and this room? Can't, can't push it, obviously. It's pre-rendered. What? Was that something I could, like... Desk is locked. Will you use the lock for this? I'll take the shells. Sure. My guy's that. It pays to click on stuff. Alright. Got the control room key now. Check. Back to the basement. Hopefully Neptune doesn't tear us apart this time. Don't have 003 yet. Pretty sure 003 is... There's a ladder, will you descend it? Yes. This reminds me of Tales of Destiny. This song. Uh... All pages are blank. What's it for? Nothing important. Blank book. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be alright. We'll totally be alright. Right, guys? Right. Totally. Here we go. Don't do it. Don't do uh, I have Okay, use the control room key. This key is now useless. Would you like to discard it? Yes. Uh I'll go ahead and pull out my pistol just in case. Mama Shark didn't show up there. She's probably hmm. Oh, there's a lever. Will you move it? Yeah. Nobody thought to pull that lever. Huh. Okay. What's this? There's a button. Will you push it? Yeah. There was a sound from the room next door. Nothing special. Can I see, was this the tank that Neptune was kept in? How is there more Neptunes? How are there baby Neptunes? Did you, did you guys just not learn your lessons ever?
clip. Clip again. Yeah. Shell. Shells again. They are all wet and useless. Oh, there's my key. I was gonna say dormitory key. Oh, oh three. Danger. All wet and useless. All right. Back upstairs. That was essentially the electrocuting Neptune section. Right in front of the door, guys. Come on. Y'all just assholes, don't you? Just assholes, assholes. Look at him try to fight me. <laughs> like a plant root. No. There's a bag here. Nothing useful inside. Well then. What are we going to have to do about that, Jill? We got to do something about this plant, man. Can't go back to the actual house. Where am I going? We can't go back to the actual mansion until... Will you... I do find it interesting how many different door designs there are in this game. Like, yeah, specifically RE96. Like, there there are a couple of different ones, and they had to allocate resources for each one of those, you know? Use the dormitory key. It is now useless. Guess I'm going back to the weapon box. Nothing special. Dust collects inside. The bath towel is dirty. Showers for us. Nothing major about this washstand. We gotta soak in the blood. Of course, I mean. It wouldn't really make sense to take a shower or a bath right now. We're just going to get more bloody. Okay. Desk is locked. Will you use the lock? Yes. No thanks. Uh, I'm good. Row of red books. There's one white book. Will you take it? Vigil report. As I stated in the last report, there are some common features found in the cells of the plant infected by the tyrant. We also have found another interesting fact 
through some experiments. We found an element that destroys these plant cells rapidly in UMB number 16, one of the series of UMB chemicals that we used for that experiment. We named this UMB number 16 as V-Jolt. In our calculation, it will take less than 5 seconds to destroy plant 42 if we put the V-Jolt directly on the root. You need to mix some of the UMB series chemicals in a specific order to create V-Jolt, but the UMB series chemicals may generate a poisonous gas which is harmful to the human body. Extreme caution should be taken when handling these chemicals. Following are the types of UMB series chemicals and their brief characteristics. UMB number 2, red. MP003, purple. UMB number 4, green. Yellow, 6, yellow. UMB number 7, white. UMB number 13, blue. Stimulating smell. V-Jolt, UMB number 16, brown. So now we should be able to go to the Beagle mixing room. Now a book is missing. Yeah, you can go fuck yourself with that one unless I have to. I ain't I ain't stepping in that room yet. No thanks. Not yet. Let's go mix some chemicals. See if I even can see the chemicals this time. I was gonna say I jumped the gun, maybe. Hopefully, hopefully. Aha! Yeah. All right, we can do this. <coughs> Might take a second. I'm sorry, guys, but I really don't want to fight plant 42 if I don't have to. It's gonna take a second. It's gonna take a second. Actually might break the stream and go into part 3 in a couple of minutes here. Just to like eat something, you know. I haven't eaten today, actually. I haven't really eaten. Um, let's go ahead and drop this off. Hold up. Okay, so we're going to drop this off. We're gonna go right here. Right? Yeah. We're gonna pick you guys up. Alright. Now. We should say. Actually. Let's go ahead and drop you off. And then pick you up. And then I'm going to save. You can save your progress with this. Will you use the ink room? Yes. Just because I haven't done this in a while. And again, I'm... I'm going to go ahead and break the stream and then go into part three. And at that point... Excuse me. We'll be nearing around the end. Uh, all I'll have to do is mix the Vigil, take down Plant 42, grab the helmet key, go back to the mansion. then down to the lab really after that point right and then fight tyrant i mean the lab section is this whole thing 
but whatever. You get what I'm saying. Like, there's really not that much left of the game. Uh, most people, when they play this, it's, it's definitely a gripe with the tank controls. The game itself is really not that bad at all. Um, it's it's mostly memorization. Uh, I, I've played this game, like specifically Resident Evil 96, probably the, no, I played Resident Evil 1 more than Resident Evil 3, but I played Resident Evil 2 the most. I gotta say though, out of those three, uh, it's really hard to say because like, Gameplay wise, specifically, I gotta give it to three. Because of all the inclusions. Um, Storyline wise, it's a toss up between all three in a way. Uh, definitely more two and three. And definitely more two. Like, if I gotta, if I have to give it to one storyline wise, two is the best, especially if we're talking OG. If we're talking the originals, two is probably the best, uh, storyline wise. Total package, it's really a toss up between two and three. Cause like, three's got a lot to it too. Um, as far as the remakes go, we start to get a little muddy, uh, because. Although, Remake is my favorite Resident Evil, period. Like, out of all of them, Remake. Uh, Resident Evil 2 is amazing, but it starts to slip on certain categories. It, not categories, per se. Uh, certain things. And a lot of people are like, oh, well, then what? Uh, it's, it's a couple of things. Like, how you have to focus fire in order to depending on how you look at it do double damage or do normal damage like on harder difficulties it's 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 almost impossible to beat the game with a good ranking at the very least, without focus firing, because you just don't have enough ammo. And then another gripe is the obvious one of you know their their scenarios. Um, they don't do the the zapping that I have noticed at all. Um, you know, aside from a couple of things. It's a great game. Resident Evil 2 Remake. Resident Evil 3 Remake. Again. Same exact thing. Aside from a couple of things. It's a great game. I love them. Both. They're fun to play. Would I put them above the originals? Visually, obviously. Yes. But like, story content wise? No. No. The originals definitely take it in the story. Now, I don't know about 4. Again, I said on a previous stream, I just... I'm not a fan of 4. Uh, I don't plan on ever buying 4 Remake or playing 4 Remake. I have RE4 right now, the original though, on the Oculus Quest 2. And... I mean, I beat it once on normal, then I got halfway through on professional and got bored. Like, I I could still beat it. The game's super easy. I could go beat it right now. I could probably go and get the all the golds on the mercenaries thing. But I just don't ever feel... If I ever boot up the quest too, it's automatically, oh, I feel like playing Doom VR. Or Quake VR. Or if I want to play like online, I go to Pavlov. And that's free, so I mean. The only downside to Pavlov is you don't have 
uh, range sights. You only have reflex sights. You don't have distance sights, like the four times scopes, six times scopes. You can't put a sniper scope, or you can't put a marksman scope on a sniper rifle, or a marksman rifle, or a high powered rifle. You can't put a four times scope on an assault rifle. Like, it's all just reflex scopes, and that's it. That's the only downside to that game. If they could just do that one thing, bro, you could you could charge me money for that game and I'd probably play it. The only thing it would need is like a storyline. Slightly. And not even a bunch. Cause like what they've got now is pretty fun. It's I mean it's almost entirely just either PvP or zombie like zombie rounds uh, there is the offshoot of uh what's it T T T, which is like it's like clue like the board game clue it's like playing that but yeah uh i'll i'll be right back or something. I might take a break from Resident Evil and like play some uh, For Honor, but I just saved this. I will finish it either if not today, if not tomorrow. I'll finish it on Monday because I don't really stream on the weekends. Uh, I stream when I'm able. So if I do get the chance, I will be back on it. I will be streaming here for another hour and a half, roughly. Roughly. So, uh, I'll be